So in this video, we're just going to run through all the admin settings of the Smart Hub Pro. So to get to them, you're going to type in 192.168.254. So we're going to start off by going to the wireless to see what's new here. So you want to go to change settings and then type in your admin password that's on the back of your hub. So once you type in this eight digit code, this will let you in to uh, start editing all the settings that you want. So as you can see now, to turn off the Wi-Fi, all you have to do is switch that over the 2.4 gigahertz, the 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz to turn off the Wi-Fi entirely. But um, as you can see in this one, there's 6 gigahertz now. So that's the new capability of this hub. If you want to uh, rename your hub, you just do so by changing this on the password. And then there's compatibility Wi-Fi as well. So this will send out a different signal for devices that aren't connecting too well to the 6 gigahertz and the uh, 5 gigahertz. So now we're going to click into status. My hub isn't connected to the internet, so that's why it's just going to be flashing orange at the top. If yours is working, it will be aqua there, and it will tell you a bit more information like network uptime. Then if you have issues with the light on your hub, if it's in someone's bedroom, if you just go into here, you can turn this off or on if it's annoying to anyone. Then once you click into my network, you can see everything that's connected to the hub. In my case, it only shows my laptop because that's the only device I've connected. But in here, you'll see everything connected and all the ports in use and how many uh, devices are connected to each. It also shows you the Wi-Fi disk and what devices are connected to each Wi-Fi disk. So now we're going to go across to guest Wi-Fi. Here you can uh, turn this on if you've any guests over, you can make a different SSID and password for them to connect to while they're around your house. So that's a nice little feature. You can go over to test your broadband. If I try to do it, it doesn't work again because I don't have my hub connected to the Wi-Fi currently or the broadband should I say. Over here you'll see the hybrid connect device if you have one and you can uh, check every time that your internet has dropped out and when the hybrid connect is being in use. Then as shown in the previous video you can see here restart the hub so you can factory well, well it's not really factory reset it's just a power cycle of the hub without having to um, press the button on the back. Then if you go across to my network again you'll see the same information of what's connected and then over here on IP address you can change the IP address of your hub and you can turn off the DHCP as well on your hub if you like and then once this comes through this just shows your address table what everything that's connected to you, your hub and their IP address so for some of this next stuff I'm just going to be showing it on the screen because I'm not too knowledgeable about all of it so here you can see the broadband and username so um, if your hub's ever out of sync or having an th authentication issue sometimes you need to pop that in again then over here we have some VPN settings and you can turn on port clamping and then you can also do a dynamic DNS once that loads. So this hub's never been connected to the broadband so I think that's why this page has a bit of an issue with the main underscore heading. It doesn't look correct as such but over here you can see all the uh, DNS settings that you can change. So I'm just going to back out of here. And then we're going to go across to wireless once again. So on wireless, if you go to Wi-Fi extenders, you'll be able to see all the Wi-Fi disks that are in your house. You can um, hit the WPS button on them again in here if you wanted. Or you could disconnect them from the hub. Then now I'm going to show the port forward in options. So you can create a new rule for port forwarding and then that brings up a list that you can enter and then after that if you go on to configuration once it loads you'll see you can uh, change off the or turn off the DMZ and also the UPNP.
then in the hub settings and statistics you can see the uptime once again and all the information in regards to your hub all the names what firmware it's on then if you go into event log it'll tell you everything to do with your hub every time it's been turned on turned off connected to wi-fi disconnected and whatever else Then I'm just going to show some more of the IP settings here that you can have a look on. Pause the video if needs be, just have a read of anything. It should be a good enough quality for you to pause and have a look through anything that you want. Or if you want me to check anything for you, please just comment down below and I'll um, have a little look for you and then reply if needs be. Also, if you won't mind if this has helped at all, um, subscribing. So here, this is where you can either factory reset the hub or change your admin password so it's different to the one on the back of the hub. So that's basically the full overview of the EE, new EE hub. So I was just checking if there was um, like digital voice phone settings for it on the hub itself. Because usually there'd be a little, little one for it that would say your home number and then you can export or import files, but I couldn't find it here. So thanks guys.